Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Transformers Full of Cybertron Shockwave. And as you can tell, Shockwave is this really cool future looking jet. And I have to admit, this is a really freaking cool jet. I mean, I do, well, jet, I know it doesn't look like a jet, but it, it's a futuristic jet, but I think it looks really cool. And I don't know what to say about this. I just love the accuracy with, with you know, from the game. Now, you can only play him in the multiplayer, which is the uh, the armor grade up. I think that's what it was. You can obviously tell that there's his chest right here. And there's his leg right there. And there's his feet right there, which is no surprise. But, hey, it, I mean, what are you going to do? So, we are going to transform Shockwave. The transformation is really easy, like I said before. And I'm not saying that because it's easy to me. It is easy to everyone else that has these figures from Fall of Cybertron. So, all we're going to do is just go under here and just split this front part open like that. Just wiggle around like that. While we're at it, we're going to flip the wings up for right now. And then go to this. Um, now, go to... Whoa. Oops, I did not mean for that to happen. Now, go on the side here, and there's these panels right here. You're just going to unpeg like that, and then you're going to take it like that. You're going to swivel it down like that, and then there's the same peg that goes in the hole right there. Also fits in this hole right here, right where my finger is, right there. So hold it. Push it in and get it to fit and then push it in there. Same thing on the other side. Now we got that taken care of. We'll now take the feet, which is flip them up like that. Get them standing like that and it looks good so far. Now go up here. While you're back there, unpeg this part right here. And then you can take this piece right here and then you can take the gun out. Which you just wiggle it out like that and there you go. So we'll put that down for right now. So now go here and fold the arms down like that. Well, they're going to be the arms. And then open it up like that. And then take the back piece like that. Flip that around. Now what you're going to see, um, I, there's, a, there's this button right here. Right where my finger is. Inside that hole, there's a little button right there. That peg is going to peg in. It's going to push in that button. So when you... Fold it down and push it all the way in. His head will pop up. So let me uh, get you close up. And here we go. So now we're going to peg the arms. And so there's a peg right there. And there's a hole right about. Well, it's right there. I know you can't see, but there's a hole right there. So you peg it in like that. Same thing right here. Spin the, the arm around like that. And then fold down the uh, arm. Flip his... Um, his wrist, not his wrist, his elbow around and then go under here and flip out the hands. So that down right there. Do that and there we go. This guy is truly amazing. I mean, what else can I say? I mean, just look at his face. Just look at that. That is Shockwave. That is a really cool face. And that chest, oh, I just love the detailing on this guy. The posability is typical. I mean, it's barely hampered with the arms because of the wings, you know, but you can get some poses out of that one. Elbow can go like that, you know, and do all sorts of cool stuff with it. And then the legs can go up, down, and you can bend his knee if you want to. I don't know why this part comes out and then like that. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't like glue it in or like peg it in or I, I don't know. Now you can peg it on either hand, but if you've been seeing the game or play the game or seen footage of it he holds it in his left hand because in G1 he did it on his left hand so we're gonna do that so all you gotta do is just fold it in like that and then just take the the gun and there's a peg in there that will go in there and slot right in there now that he's got his iconic cannon now he can go kill some Autobots do I even need to tell you to get this guy? Get this guy. I mean, there is nothing wrong with this guy, in my opinion. I mean, I've looked everywhere, and there is nothing wrong with him. The iconic cannon from G1 is freaking cool. 
The face is fucking cool. The chest is fucking cool. He is just fucking cool. And you should get this guy for your collection. Now, there is a repaint of that that is called um, Air Raid. Oh, no, no, Fire Flight. Or whatever his name is. It was a uh, Fire Flight. That's what it was. That one looks okay, but not as Fire Flight as a uh, Rewind, you know, from G1. But that guy looks cool as Rewind. This guy as Shockwave is just fucking cool. And you need to get this guy for your collection. That's all I gotta say, and I'll catch you guys later.